this is Green Cobra's Gaming. And this is actually my first review of a game. A really, really classic game. This is actually my first, this is my, it's gonna be my first review of one of Cobra's reviews. We do more of these all the time. And we're gonna do one a week at most. But anyway. On with the review. If you don't know already because of the intro introduction, it was like 30 seconds or so. About including plus part of that 30 seconds was the um was my actual intro I made plus the two like two of the of the Pokemon intro. Yeah, it's a Pokemon. Being Generation One. Oh, I just love Generation One. So I know I just love Pokemon. Not just that generation. I love the whole series. Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, and Gen 6. And I can't wait till Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire come out. And I'm thinking I do, if I ever get a capture card, I may get a, do um, a let's play of that game. You know they have a fan made capture card on the website, but it's real expensive. You now, and that's like the only 3 ds capture card they have, so I don't know how. I may just decide to record that with a camera in my other videos with a capture card. I don't know. Because I know that I look ones do the thing. Anyway, with my review. First off, we're gonna start with Pokemon Red and Blue, and then eventually get to the other than the remix. Okay, first of all, if you guys don't know what Pokemon is, it's a game where you play these creatures called Pokemon in, the, in a whole world, and you're supposed to like, collect eight badges to enter the Pokemon League, which is then after you get eight badges and collect the Pokemon League from the I mean, after you can get eight badges, you can go and beat the Pokemon League, which is the Elite Four. And then after Elite Four, you become the champion of that region. Like, say, Johto. After you beat Lance, you become the champion of Johto. And so on and so forth. Or whatever the region of champion that you're in playing. But anyway, like, or like with him or with Wallace, I believe. Yeah, and, or Steven with Ruben Sapphire. And anyway. With the story of Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. Well, I'll start with Red, Blue, and the remake because Yellow is a little different. Mainly fault some of the anime, like half, like part anime, part game of Red, Blue. Like, but anyway, on with that. The story is about you're a ten-year-old boy named Red, or whatever your default name that you set your name as, because you had choice from Red and like three other default names, and then. You also can choose your own. And you start as a 10 year old boy living in Pallet Town. And you pretty much just got. And you're about to get your first Pokemon from P P Professor Oak. Yep. And apparently. And there were the three stars Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Well, in my opinion, I like Charmander the best because I like, I like the fire type bet the best. But anyway. Just, that's just my opinion. But anyway, along with that, after you, after you, after you move to town and get your Pokemon, you battle your rival Gary. He picks the um, opposite. Like if you pick fire, he picks water. If you pick grass, he picks fire. If you pick what grass, he picks fire. Um, well, whatever. Anyway, he picks the opposite Pokemon of like the ones that's super effective against yours. And you ask, and but at least he doesn't have like the move like fire and anyway, it's just where you're like, if you're, like that Pokemon is just where you battle. If you guys don't know, of course all of you probably would know because it's a very classic game. So just to refresh your memory, and also after you start out, you 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 climb up, to, like get like I said, get eight badges, and then that you battle your rival, and then you have to win. And then throughout the game, you can catch the all 150 Pokemon, which is. Awesome, 150 Pokemon, including the, um, including the um, legendary, which are Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres, which are the legendary birds Pokemon. Then you can catch Mewtwo, which is a le another legendary, an awesome legendary, in Unknown Cave, I believe in Swarm. Actually, it's, I think it's Swarm and Cave, like, no remakes or what. I'm not in, in like, second gen, I believe, Swarm Cave. I'm not sure if it's one came in the Fire Red Fish game. I believe so. I know in the originals it was like, you know. But anyway, I know like with red, blue, and yellow it had glitches like the M. Number M or whatever, or the Mew glitch, which 
course there was also actually two new glitches. One was a hoax. Well the other one actually is a wheel though. But uh hard. And also and also after you beat the Pokemon League, you can catch those legendaries like I said, besides the one meal unless you get to the bridge. And no and the new glitch only works for red and blue. Maybe yellow? I know it doesn't work for red and green because it's updated. But I'm not sure if it works. I think it actually may work for yellow, but anyway. In yellow, actually you don't start with the three starters that I said earlier. You have to start with Pikachu. Because I apparently everyone else stole it. New Wild apparently has an Eevee, apparently. As a, as a starter and, and and throughout the game, like I think I have a Gabba Piano which tells you like if you like win like the first match or skip skip like the second match against him, it's different or win it you can get like your why will have different like different EV evolution depends on like how if you skip a Wild Ball battle or um, yeah because you, you only can skip like one of the Wild Ball battles. You know, like, so you can probably skip. I don't know. I think you can skip. Uh, no, I think you can. I think I know you can. I only can skip the one that's near um, the, the gate. We want to leave gates, and that's the reason why you got to get all your badges to enter because you can't go through the gates. So you have to go through the. They get all your badges. Anyway, I just love. They have also by the Pokemon have so many classic Pokemon out there. Like I said, the EV Avalanche is classic. Pikachu is classic. Pidgeot. Pid Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeotto, all those are classic. Graveler, Golem, Gyarados. That's it. Snorlax, all of the classics. And now, of course, I said the legendaries on, but anyway. And actually, the, the actually Fire Red and Leaf Green also has like a post, a longer, more post game, which you can go to, I guess, six islands? Six, I believe? No, seven. Seven islands. I think six, seven, what? I don't remember exactly. I think seven or six. Seven, I believe. Seven. Seven, yeah. Seven Islands, and which is a post game, which also has, like, I think, other Pokemon besides one from Kanto. Pretty much. Uh, because, pretty much, I think. Uh, because to get to, like, Islands four, like, I think five through seven, whatever, you have to, like, capture. And this is Fire Wide Leaf Green only, by the way. The seven, the seven islands, not seven islands, the anime, jeez. The seven islands, wait, no, the seven islands, no, wait, that's the orange islands, that's from the anime. The seven islands, yeah, they're, they're called seven islands. No, no, seven islands are the um, islands that are, be, that are um, that, like, walk on the water that where Articuno is in the game. No. I, don't, I don't know what, what I'm thinking about. I don't actually don't know this. Wow, I'm being my, some of my facts more. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, with that, you can go to like Seven Island because I guess at first Bill wants to like fix the um, I guess PC up there. I guess so it can link from the, so it can like link plus also to link from so you can trade for Movie and Sapphire and an Emerald probably later on after Emerald comes out. You probably can trade from there also. But anyway, and anyway, that's pretty much just a favorite and like I said, yellow thing. And anyway. And also, this game is great, really great. For well, I know it's not like good in gra graphics wise compared to now. At least, especially red, blue, and yellow compared to Fire Red and Green. I know it made a bunch different with you know, like different Pokemon overpowered, like Psychic and like Fighting and like Dragon were rarely overpowered. Well, actually, Dragon was very overpowered until like Six Gen came, which, which only because the only two ones were like Dragon and Psychic. And also around this time when I guess when Red Blue Yellow was out, not when Fire Red and Green, but before that, before Fire Red and Green, when Red Blue Yellow, they didn't even have Dark or Still type Pokemon either. So that kind of that's what they added in second gen that helped, and then they added Fairy type, which helped against I guess Dragon type. I'm not sure what like I always get confused about like Fairy type and like what's what super effective against like what defeat. I think Fighting defeats them probably or Fighting. That. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, on my on my scoring, I'll put my red, blue, yellow, fire, white, green. Red, blue, yellow. I'll make that a 8.5 because it's good and stuff. And put my fire, white, green, 9.25 because like because. 
Bioware's been has updated graphics and along with post story, like after you defeat the game. And also, also there's more Pokemon in Bioware they've been because of like adding like another 200 because of third gen and second gen. You know, I count as Bioware's getting yeah, first gen. You know, it's just a remake of first gen. You know, it's what third gen also. I think it also has some third and second gen. Well, not that. I think probably has more second gen, third gen Pokemon though. I, think Imo, I know Imo has like a Sorcerer that can add like a second gen Pokemon. But anyway, that's my that is this is my review of Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Fire Red, and Leafy, and also Pokemon Green, which is also a well not extended version, but like is a Japanese version of White and Blue. If you guys never knew that, that's probably they got Fire Red and Leafy instead of um, Fire Red and Ocean Blue or whatever they were gonna call that. But anyway. I guess I'll see you in the next review as you figure out what I will move next. So see you next time, partners!